to help us celebrate your former football teammate and our newly alumni, Jacobin Redder from A.H. Parker High School, the class of 1969. <laughs> the Parker High School class of 1969 wanted to honor and appreciate Jacobin in a special way. Uh, we didn't do a scholarship to a, a Parker High School graduating scholar, so we decided we would do this for Jacobin and make this an everlasting, uh, memorable occasion of him setting the state record in the 100 meter dash. <laughs> in the Alabama High School Athletic Association State Outdoor Championships on April 29, 2021. So we had this sign prepared. Mr. Hudson, thank you, Mr. Hudson. Coach Warren, thank you, Coach Warren. Coach Jackson, thank you, Coach Jackson. Mr. Hudson for allowing us to place this sign up in a permanent position so that whenever Jacobin comes back to visit Parker, which we know he'll do a lot of. And when we, the class of 69 comes, and all the other classes, all the other alumni, they will be able to forever recognize Jacobus' accomplishment. Uh, we are the herd nation, and we are so proud of him. We appreciate him being a, not just a member of the herd nation, exceeding on the track field and the football field, but he's an excellent student in the classroom and an excellent child, his mom <laughs> says he is, and an excellent citizen coming from A.H. Parker High School, joining the, all, the rest of us <laughs> that are contributing to society in a great way. We know Jacobin, uh, right now he's concentrating on on his racing but he's gonna we don't know what he's majoring in uh -oh. but he's gonna be able to contribute to society after his racing days are over and become a part of the A.H. Parker High School tradition and legacy. Thank you Jacobin. <laughs> we also have these uh, shell gas cars for Jacobin when he has to travel. Well, he may use them up before he go to Tuscaloosa, so for whatever. Buy you some gas, baby. Okay, Mr. Hudson. I'm going to give uh, Coach Jack and uh, Coach Warren an opportunity to say a few words about Rutter. Uh, this is, um, hey, folks don't know, man, this is something special. Like, this kid ran a special time, broke a state record that was holding for a couple of long time. And um, I tell other folks all the time, I treat these people like my kids, the football players, and his brother's one of mine. And um, one thing about this kid, you know what I'm saying, he never caused any trouble. He always tried to do the right thing. And I'm not pulling nobody's leg. I'm saying this from their mom, you ready? Handsome young man yes. to do the right thing in everything he do. Thank you. So he will do everything. He's gonna break records at Alabama. You write that down. Yeah. Coach Warren said that. He <laughs> yeah. said it, man. And I'm proud of Redder, man. He one of us, a Thunder football player. He came to me, and the story he came to me after um, the guy from Black Panther died, man, it kind of inspired him to come finish football. And he came to me, and I wouldn't did it for anybody else but Redder. So, man, I'm proud of everything he did for me. Behind the yellow! Behind the yellow! Hey, Say some more for the camera. Hey, man. Bit of her. Hey, man, they doubted us all season. I ain't, I ain't even planning to play senior year. I'm glad I came back, man. One last time, my boy. I love this team, and I love this sport, man. Out the gate. Jay Rudd, you already know what it is. Appreciate you, Cole. All right. <laughs> well, I've known Cole Rudd for like at least five years now. 
since he came from middle school, and he's been an excellent, you know, athlete, excellent scholar, just excellent everything, you know, and all that. Whatever I asked him to do, he did it. I'm really proud of him because, you know, so now Keenan brought records for like over 10 years. He not only broke the 100 record, he broke the 200-meter record too as well, mm -hmm. and all that thing. So basically, you know what I'm saying, this young man, he broke the indoor state record in the 60. I'm really proud of him, you know what I'm saying, hey, I think his mom for giving him a chance, you know what I'm saying, just to be able to coach this young man and all that thing. This young man gonna be in the Olympics, he gonna break records in the Olympics, he gonna break the world record. Okay. This ain't, but not only that, not only is he just gonna be a scholar in that, you know what I'm saying, hey, in track and field, he gonna be a scholar in the books oh, and all right. that. This young man is just for great and mighty things in life, period. You know what I'm saying, you ain't just, he ain't just come to great and mighty things on the track, he gonna do it in life. So you know what I'm saying, hey, look forward to this night, you know what I'm saying, gonna become a household name, you hope real. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, good evening to everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Now we can do better than that. Good evening. Good, good evening. evening. Let's give it up to the class of 1969 for doing something so special for one of our very own. I just want to take this opportunity very briefly to say how honored I am to be able to call, and he's an alumni, I was going to say one of my students. Uh, this young man, like Coach Warren was saying, has never been to the office. Never been part of any foolishness. Never been late for class. Never been on social media. And not only he's a great athlete, but he's a better person. And he is, uh, I think his overall GPA was 3.7. Yes, he finished with a 3.7 overall GPA. And he's gonna be going to the University of Alabama in the fall. And one thing that also, and I wanna share with all of our scholar athletes, that he qualified academically his junior year. So he was getting letters each and every day. Very, very, very amenable. Uh, always respectful. One of those things that we kind of lost our way. He still say yes, sir, no, sir. And I give all accolades to his mom for raising such a nice young man. He was our regional winner uh, for the Brian Jordan Award. He had a suit on. I'm going to get me one of those skinny leg suits. That was <laughs> <laughs> and it has been some while since A.H. Parker High School had a regional winner with the Brian Jordan Award, and he still has hardware coming into my office today. And this is a plaque where the Kiwanis Club here in Birmingham uh, recognized our very own uh, Jacobin Retter as the Athlete of the Year. And because of um, COVID, they had a virtual meeting, but they mailed this to the school on his behalf. So he still has hard work coming in. But I couldn't be more proud of this young man. I'm proud of each and every one of you. Um, but this is a special young man. And I, I, I want to say again, I like what the class of 69 is doing. And some of you underclassmen, you could be on this very uh, banner that they are hanging up for Jacobin Rutter. So don't sell yourself short. People say a lot of things about Age Park High School, but we have some very, very bright and outstanding students here, and we need to tell our story and get the word out about the great young ladies and uh, great young men that we have. We finished second overall in track in the indoor. I see some of them out there. And we end up finished fourth in 5A in the outdoor. But to see him and the other teammates represent Age Parker High School was truly an honor and a joy on how they gave everything that they had out there on that track. And like Coach was saying, for him to win the 100 and 200 and set two records, his name will be in the record books next year when we go back down to Gulf Shores because I know we're going to have some qualifiers and you're going to see Jacoba Retta uh, record in there for 2021. So let's give it up again for our honoree. Now we're going to give him an opportunity to say a few words and this will conclude our presentation. Uh, um, I want to start by thanking the class of 1969 for presenting me with this. Um, I just want to say just a word to all the younger guys, all the football players. Um, I want you guys to use this as just motivation. Y'all know y'all can be anything you want to be. You can be the best at everything you do. So every day, get everything you got. And like I said, it's just it's an honor to be a part of this organization, to be to call myself an alumni of Parker High School. Um, it, it just feels amazing. And to see how hard I've worked and all of it finally pay off, it means a lot to me. 
So uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, once again, thank you to the class of 1969. Uh, I really appreciate y'all. I love every last one of y'all, all my coaches. Uh, I want to shout out my mom. <laughs> I want to shout out my mom. But, uh, I want to shout out my mom. Uh, discipline she's instilled in me over the past few years. Is, um, she's raised me to be the best person I can am today. So I really appreciate her. I appreciate all the uh, thank you. All right. And one last thing I want to uh, fail to mention that we need more of our alumni to do. Do this. Mom is a 2000 graduate of the Thunder and Herd. Okay, man. So we need more of our alumni to send their most prized possessions back here. Um, as you can see, they will be in great hands. And his sister is a uh, student here as well. So she has some big shoes to fill, but she's coming into her own. I remember when she got here as a freshman. <laughs> now she's kind of, you know, coming out of the Jacobin Rudder Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> we're extremely proud of her as well. All right, so now we're going to do this right. The class of 6 and 9 just think they've been out of school 52 years. So we're going to still show them that we have that uh, Thunder and Herd spirit. What's the word? Thunder, Thunder and Herd! What's the word? Thunder, Thunder and Herd! <laughs>